Hi, my name is Pearl. My parents were one of the richest people in the city. When I was born, everyone gasped at how amazingly beautiful I was. And since I was their only child, my parents treated me like a princess. Goo, goo. Oh my gosh, honey. Our daughter said her first words. Let's throw a party. They were just crazy about me. I had hundreds of maids to feed me, bathe me, walk me, and even comb my hair. Oh my gosh, you broke my darling girl's hair. Do you have any idea what this hair is worth? It's worth millions. Of course, Mom overreacted a lot. She would even fire the maids if my milk was not the right temperature, and Dad was no less. When I turned five, he ordered the servants to redecorate my room, and you won't believe it. He changed everything to gold and diamonds, including my toilet seat. Not only that, but I had different dresses and shoes to wear every day, and the driver would drop me off to school in my favorite pink Lamborghini. I felt like a true princess, and honestly, I loved it. But there was someone who hated every bit of the life that I lived. Melissa. She was the meanest girl in my class, and she hated me for everything. She would steal my dolls, cut their heads off, and toss them away. Once, she even trashed all of my notebooks. But school wasn't the only place that I had to bear her. Her parents were friends with mine, and I often saw her at sleepovers and parties. On my 14th birthday, Mom and Dad threw a grand party and invited all their rich friends, and of course, Melissa came with her parents, too. When I walked down the stairs, everyone looked stunned by my beauty. Everyone but Melissa. Her face turned red like a tomato. Good Lord, your daughter is so pretty. I think I'm going to marry her to my son. You know, there was no way that I was going to marry a stupid son, Xander. But I wasn't the only one who was mad about it. Melissa had always dreamed of becoming super rich by marrying Xander because his dad was the richest man in the city. And she looked super pissed at this comment. But then suddenly, her facial expressions changed as she walked up to me with a smile. Hey, Pearl. Happy birthday. Here's a gift from me. What? Was there a bomb in there? But then when I opened the box, the kitten jumped out of it. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I loved it, but I was nervous. Why was she being so nice to me? All of a sudden, something didn't feel right. Later that night, when everyone left, I was playing with my cute little kitten when suddenly it scratched my face with its paw. Melissa's cat turned out to be just like her. Evil. Mom and Dad came rushing out when they heard my screams. They rushed me to a hospital, but even after weeks of treatments and several procedures, the scar didn't go away. Now I had no choice but to live with it or cover it with makeup. I had no choice but to live with it or cover it with makeup. When I went back to school, Melissa was waiting to mess with me again, But thank God she had no idea about my scar or she would make my life a nuisance. Move, Pearl. This is my seat. And just because you're rich doesn't mean you own everything. Well, I do own a lot of things, but I don't see your name on it either. She got super pissed and she was about to throw a plate of food in my face when Xander cut in and stopped her. Hey, hey, hey. Stay away from my girl, Pearl. Stop messing with her. My girl? What's going on? I'm not your girl. Are you crazy? Oh, my sweet pea. Don't you remember what my dad said on your birthday? We're going to be married eventually. What? We're just 14. Are you crazy? There's no way you can marry Pearl. I won't let it happen. Well, I won't let it happen either. Now get away from me, both of you. God, these guys were so crazy. It was such a headache going to school every day and seeing them, especially Xander. He was such a pain in the butt. He'd flirt with me all the time and scare away all the other guys who ever tried to talk to me. I hated every bit of my junior year, up until the teacher introduced an exchange Korean student to the class. His name was Minno, and gosh, he was so handsome. The teacher asked me to help him with the syllabus, and while we were studying in the library one day, Xander came marching at us. Who do you think you are sitting here with my girlfriend? Saying that, he suddenly grabbed my hand. You're coming with me, Pearl. Let go of my hand, Xander. I'm not your girlfriend. Just then, he cut him off and punched him in the face. You should have just let her go. Oh my gosh, his deep voice and those fierce eyes. I instantly fell in love with him. He was so amazing. 
Xander ran from there like a scaredy cat, and I thanked him for saving me from that jerk, to which he smiled and said, Well, I can see he's a jerk, but you're so pretty, and he won't go crazy for you. Oh my gosh, he thought that I was pretty. My cheeks turned red and I almost melted. After that, Minnow and I spent most of our time reading in the library together. It was so much fun just to sit next to him and admire all those books. Months felt like days with him, and I couldn't believe that a year had passed with him. Then one day while I was having lunch at the cafeteria, Xander came up to me and started acting up all of a sudden. You think you're going to be happy with that stupid jerk? He's a loser. Well, last I saw, you were the one who got punched. That's because I just didn't hit the gym that day. But anyways, I won't let him take you away from me, Pearl. You don't own me, Xander. Now get lost. But before I could complete my sentence, Melissa threw a can of juice in my face. Stay away from my guy, you witch. Don't you already? Don't you already have a guy now? Melissa, have you lost it? To wrap the act, you boyfriend stealer? But then suddenly I realized my makeup, my scar. I pushed past her and ran to the washroom immediately to my horror. I ran straight into me knowing. His eyes widened as he looked at me. Oh no! Why are you all wet? Who did this to you? What? Did he see my scar or was it just he didn't care? Tell me, who did this? I'm going to teach them a lesson. No, no, no. It's fine. I just tripped. I couldn't believe that he got so mad seeing me hurt, and he didn't mention anything about my scar like it was totally normal. Gosh, he was such a darling. I couldn't resist it anymore. I pulled him in for our first kiss, and wow, it was magical. After that, we started officially dating, and I felt like the happiest person on earth. But not for long. Mom, what's wrong? Why are you crying? It's your dad, honey. He had a heart attack. Oh my gosh. Mom, what happened? Where is he? Mom told me that dad lost all his money in a bad investment, and now we're almost bankrupt. Dad didn't take the news so well, and he ended up in the hospital. After that, I stayed at home for almost a week until dad recovered. And he didn't tell me no, so he wouldn't worry. Then one day, all of a sudden, mom and dad asked me to accompany them to a party. But, dad, you just got discharged. But they insisted that I tag along anyway, and they asked me to doll up and put on my best dress. But when we got there, Xander's dad made an announcement that almost gave me a heart attack. Hello, everyone. It brings me great joy to announce the engagement of my son, Xander, with my friend's daughter, Pearl. Please, everyone, give the couple a big hand. And with that, Mom started dragging me onto the stage. What? Mom? Wait! What's going on? Is this some sort of joke? Oh, honey, please don't be mad. It's the only chance we have to save our company and our home. Besides, Xander is such a nice guy. No, Mom. Xander is a jerk, and I'm not doing this. Oh, honey, but look at your dad. He's so happy. The doctor said that he wouldn't survive another heart attack. Do you want him to leave us forever? I looked at dad, and indeed, he looked happy, although I love Minnow so much. I couldn't let my dad die either, so I had to choose my parents' happiness over mine. A few days later, when I went to school, I found out that Xander had told everyone about our engagement, including Minnow and he looked furious. Tell me this is all a lie. Tell me you didn't want any part of this. Just tell me. But I couldn't tell him the truth. Oh, I love Xander. No, I'm not. He's rich and doesn't want money. I knew that he loved me and that my words would break his heart, but I had no choice but to lie. After hearing what I said, he backed off and he left and he never looked at me again. Finally, on our wedding day, when I felt like everything was going to be fine, things took a wild turn. I heard mom and dad talking about something I had never imagined in my worst nightmare. Stop eating so much. You're going to have another gastric attack, and it's your daughter's wedding day. Well, thanks to my gastric attack, Pearl agreed to marriage, thinking it was a heart attack. Otherwise, there was no way of getting her to agree to this, and we would have remained poor for the rest of our lives. What? 
You guys lied to me? How could you? Mom starts crying and tries to stop me. Please, honey, please understand. I sacrificed my happiness because of you guys and you, I hate you. I stormed out of the wedding venue, throwing the wedding ring at Xander's face when I met him on the way out. Stop, Pearl. Where are you going? Wait, you're the one leaving? Really? I know all about your ugly scar and I still want you, you stupid girl. This is how you pay me back? What? You knew? You dumbhead, I knew. So come back here and kiss me right now or I'll make you regret it. He got closer and tried to pull me to him, but I slapped him hard and left. I wasn't going to wait or listen to anyone anymore. I had to find Minnow and tell him that I loved him. I called his friends, but they told me that he was at a BTS concert at the MetLife Stadium. Really? Of all places, a BTS concert? I rushed to the stadium and I ran backstage to grab a mic and shadow my confession to him. But oh my gosh, I couldn't believe my eyes when I ran into all the BTS members. It was like I was dreaming. What are you doing here? Why are you dressed like that? Dean isn't helping? Of course I wish that time would stop right there and then, but I had to find the love of my life. I told them about my situation and I asked them to help me, and they did. They were so nice, they allowed me to go on stage and talk to him. I was really nervous, but then I gathered all of my courage to speak. You know, I'm so sorry that I lied to you, but the truth is that I love you and I can't live without you. Please forgive me. My eyes filled with tears as I confessed my love for him, and then I saw him running towards me through the crowd. He jumped on stage and he kissed me. The crowd cheered for us as he lifted me up in his arms, and he was split into my ears. I love you too.